Okay, so how do we go about solving a collisions problem? Well, the general structure of one of these problems is that you'll have some before situation, like the following. Maybe we have two carts. We'll have cart one that is traveling in this direction with some initial velocity. Um, and maybe there's some other cart, cart two, that is traveling in this direction with some other velocity. And then afterward, we have the two carts moving apart with some new velocities like this. Okay, I'll call the initial velocities v1 initial and v2 initial, um, and the final v1 final, v2 final. Okay, so um, a typical sort of problem is we know the initial conditions and we want to know the final conditions. Well, the strategy that we use is, since this is a collision, we can just assume that the momentum stays the same before and after. So the um, p initial equals p final. Well, what is the p initial? Well, that's going to be the um, initial momentum of the first um, one plus the initial momentum of the second one. Okay, and that's going to be equal to the p final of the first one plus the p final of the second one. Okay, so we just add them together. They're vectors, we're doing vector addition using pirate map rules, but it is still the case that we can add them together like this. So then we plug in the definition of momentum. So mass one, V1 initial, plus mass two, um, V initial of two, equals mass one, V final of one, plus mass two, V final of two. Okay, so um, we just plug things in and solve the problem. Now, if you notice, let's say we know all the initial conditions. Well, we don't know enough information to solve at the end. Okay, so if we know all of this stuff, then we still have um, two velocities that we don't know. Okay, so we just have um, one equation in two unknowns. Or if you want to think about x, y, and z separately, we could think of this as three equations, one for x, one for y, one for z, in six unknowns because we don't know any of the final velocities. Okay, so we're always going to need some extra information in order to solve a collision problem. Um, and that extra information could look a few different ways. Okay, so one is we might be told that the two cards stick together. Okay, um, we have a name for that type of collision. We call those um, totally inelastic. Um, or sometimes there will be other um, synonyms for that. So completely inelastic um, or something like that, but um, an inelastic collision. Or we might have some information that these have an ideal bouncy collision. For instance, like um, billiard balls, for instance, we typically assume have an ideal bouncy collision. Um, and we have a name for that too. We call that totally elastic. Um, or just elastic or completely elastic or something like that. Um, or we might know some other information yet. So um, there are different ways to phrase some of these. But um, for instance, maybe we know the final conditions for one of the objects. Um, perhaps we want one of the cards to come to rest afterwards, and so that might um, give us the information we need. Or maybe we know an angle that one of the things moves off in after the billiard balls collide. Um, but there's always going to be some extra information like that so that we can solve um, these problems.